Thursday pregame, this is Johnny Detroit, and Thursday brings the dollar handicapper, or I choose one handicapper and make his best bet only a buck. And today's selection is Dwayne Bryant. He has won 19 of his last 24, 19 and 5 run in the NBA. He has a big three star going today, and you will get that for only one dollar. And best of all, inside of the pick analysis, you will get a coupon to get Dwayne's package for Friday at half off. And best of all, today, Marco D'Angelo, Mr. Pittsburgh, went under in the Pittsburgh game yesterday. He had 21 points to spare. It goes way under. He's back in the zone. He has an NIT game of the month going today. So if you plan on picking up Marco, if you get Dwayne's best bet for a buck, his three-star, inside of the package, you will have a coupon to get Marco's game of the month for 60% off. Don't forget, today is the final day of the slash. Seven and 30 days. Discounted. Scotty Spritzer. 22 and 10 runs, 69 percent. Steven Nover, 25 and 14 in the NBA, and Mike Hook has won 84 units over the last 55 days. To the good, the bad, the ugly. Brian Leonard he goes 0 and 1. So you might ask, why are you bringing up a guy on 0 and 1? Is Brian's a grinder? So when he goes 1 and 0, 2 and 1, I'm going to let you know because for Brian, long term, that's what makes him a profitable handicapper. He had Minnesota minus the points they lost outright. Rough day for Dave Essler. He drops four out of five. JR, rough day, 0-2, loses his three-star in the NHL. And Lenny Del Genio drops five of his six. His big three-star was on Pittsburgh, which also is a loser for Scotty Spritzer, as he also took Pitt minus the points, and they only managed to win by four. Goodfellow wins four out of five. Shake and Bake has a three-star on the Boston Celtics. They win by 12. Mike Cook wins three out of four, just doing work. Big three-star on Toronto. And my man, Vegas runner, he's been on a horrible run. He's not hiding from it. He's in the forums. He's taking accountability. Three and one, three out of four, three-star on Mercer. Props to see you winning yesterday, VR. Now to a little drama going on in the forums. I know a lot of people are going back and forth on their feelings in this. I have been on industry-related handicapping betting boards since there was user groups. After that, there was AOL chat rooms and AOL groups. Then there was places like Wager Talk, and then all of the portals opened up, and that's when I got in the business in that stage. I have lost count of the amount of people that come on, get a following, have fake names or friends come in there and say, you're the greatest, or whatever it may be, go off the handle, or they'll go on the side and want to start their own site, try selling picks, or whatever it may be. And I can't even name most of those people because they're not even around anymore. So you know what? The band's going to play on. I saw it before. I saw it before I met RJ when I had Let It Ride Sports where a lot of the great guys over at pregame initially came from. Oopy, Hazan, or the boys. Those are all my people back in the day. They're still around. Those are the guys that you could trust and you're going to see and are going to be around a couple years from now. These other cats... And, you know, it's every time they get banned or they get booted from the site, I get all this hate mail. And it was funny, as I think the latest one was, you look like an alien on meth, which, you know, I don't know what's worth. Look, worth what, what is worse, looking like the alien on meth or the fact your mom, sister, wife, past three girlfriends, mistress, and the chick who gets the coffee at work all have a weird fetish for aliens that look like they're on meth. So that's pretty odd. So we're going to move on, get away from the drama. Free pick of the day comes from the community. And Candon all three, eight of his last nine. You could go to Streaks, find him, friend him, follow him. Two selections. He likes Kansas and Louisville. He already has his final four picks up to go. So Johnny Detroit's tip of the day. My tip of the day is next week I'm going to have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a pro each day in the forums talking nothing but baseball, letting you know their MLB handicapping tips, taking your baseball handicapping questions, thoughts on season win totals, whatever it may be. Get your questions ready. Start thinking what you want to ask. It's going to start on Tuesday and run until Friday. It's absolutely free. You're going to get talk to an actual pregame pro. So definitely check that out and get yourself prepped for baseball. So from Johnny Detroit to you, the People's Champ, thanks for watching. I'm back on Friday.